We start with the Tokyo Olympics. With today's events about to kick off in the next few moments, there's so much to cover from what happened on Wednesday. For more, we connect to our Kim Do-yeon at the News Center to give us all the details. Do-yeon, it seems like it was a successful day on Wednesday for Team Korea. That's right, Mogyeon. South Korea bagged a gold medal in fencing. Now, if you remember for days, I've talked about the lack of a gold in fencing, and that's been disappointing for Team Korea, but finally, the men's saver team has done it. They were regarded as the favorites to win the competition as they're ranked number one in the world. This also means they have defended their Olympics title successfully. Kim Dami has the full story. Team Korea secured another gold medal Wednesday, this time in men's saber fencing. World number one Oh sang along with Koo Bong-gil, Kim Jong-hwan and Kim Jun-ho dominated Italy 45-26 in the team event, as South Korea bagged their second straight Olympic gold medal in the event after their win at London 2012, the last time it was an official Olympic event. Wednesday's win is South Korea's first gold in fencing in Tokyo, but third medal overall in the discipline, following a silver medal in women's EPE Tuesday and Kim jong hwans bronze medal last weekend. It's also the fourth Olympic medal for the oldest South Korean fencer on the Sabre team, 38-year-old Kim jong hwan a record for a South Korean fencer. As mentioned by President Moon Jae-in in a message of congratulations, the country's men's Sabre fencing team is made up of skilled fencers with strong leadership skills and bags of confidence. The Dream Team has been on top of the world ranking since 2017, and all four of the South Korean fencers are ranked in the world's top 20. But the gold medal didn't come easy. The world's number one fencer, Oh Sang-wook, was struggling with injuries that picked up during the men's individual Sabre event. In March, he also missed a training for a month after testing positive for COVID-19 after returning home from the 2021 World Cup in Budapest. Even though the South Korean fencers had their own individual hurdles to overcome, as promised, they'll return to South Korea as a team, each with a gold medal hanging around their necks. Kim Dami, Arirang News.